This plant right here sends more people to the emergency room every year than rattlesnakes. And people still can't identify it, but I'm here to help. What we have here is Toxakendron, I think, radicans, better known as poison ivy. Let's break down how to identify it so we know. Now, this is what I would call classic poison ivy because the middle leaf has lobes on both sides. The left leaf has a lobe on the left and the right leaf has a lobe on the right. Just be aware, it's not always like this. This is classic. The leaf edges can be confusing because they can be smooth, toothed, or lobed. And that variability throws people off. And there's color and seasonality that will help identify it. In the summer, they're green, fall, red, orange, or yellow. But it's still just as toxic. Poison ivy can grow three ways, as a ground plant, a climbing vine, and hairy roots, or as a shrub. The vine is where folks really get burned, literally, because it climbs trees and blends in. But what makes it so dangerous? It's not the leaves, and it's not the vine, it's actually the urushal oil that is inside of it. One billionth of a gram, that's tiny, can cause a rash, whether it's alive, dead, dried, or is burning in a fire. Be incredibly careful when you're gathering firewood, because if you pull a poison ivy vine off, it's still got the oil on the bark, and if you burn that, you can inhale that into your body. That can cause that rash inside of you, which could cause serious problems, including up to death. Now you know. We can all avoid it, and you can come get wild with me, Craig Cottle at Nature Lawns.